நண்பர்கள் அனைவருக்கும் வணக்கம் எல்லோரும் நன்றாக இருப்பீர்கள் திஸ் ப்ரோக்ராம் இஸ் பிராட் யூ பை குருஜி டிவி திஸ் யூடியூப் வீடியோ இஸ் அ டிரான்ஸ்லேஷன் ஆஃப் த டாமு வீடியோ ஆஃப் அவர் ரெனவுண்ட் அஸ்ட்ராலஜர் ஜோதிஷ் மகா குரு ஆதித்ய குருஜி The link of the original version, that is the Tamil video, is given in the description box of this video. This is Astrologer Deepa and I am presenting you the English version of the Tamil video. In this video, I am going to explain the natal chart where the planets are highly pabatwa. Greetings to all my subscribers. So far, I have published videos explaining the natal charts of many people who who are great achievers in their life in other words we have seen the natal charts of the people who are highly fortunate by all means in their life i have also explained certain natal charts which are very much pabatwa who cannot live a good life and in this video i'm going to explain the natal chart of a person who does white collar crimes Well, what is white collar crime? White collar crime is generally non-violent in nature. To name a few, I can say public corruption, healthcare fraud, securities fraud, money laundering, mortgage fraud, etc. In this video, I am going to explain the natal chart of a person who is not easily identified by the public as a criminal. but who is very capable of cheating the people by his intelligence a person in rugged clothes who steals or who snatches the chain or whatever is also a criminal there are also people who are well dressed but are involved in criminal actions who are able to cheat the people by their intelligence There are many people who even stay in five star hotel and whose primary job is to cheat others. How do we identify from the natal chart whether a person is a criminal or not? Based on Bava, the 6th, 8th house and 12th house, we identify this. The 6th house, 8th house and the 12th house indicate criminalism the 8th house indicates fraudulent activities cheating etc and the 12th house indicates loss of something that happened in the 8th house or as a consequence of an event that happened in 8th house the 12th house also signifies imprisonment the 8th house and the 12th house signify criminal activities the 6th house signifies how you will be cheated by others the 6th and 8th houses in the natal chart have a lot of similarities the 12th house signifies kara grahavasam it says about how a crime is done and the way it is done it says about the crime the nature of the crime when the show of 6th house or 8th house or 12th house lord is experienced by the native then the person will be identified as a criminal by others the reason can be multiple it can be a murder or it can be a rape it is at the time of the dasha or antardasha of these house lords that the native will be identified as a criminal when saturn is residing in the 12th house and saturn aspects the second house with great prabhatva or when saturn resides in 8th house prabhatva and aspecting the second house by its 7th aspect it will spoil the house of speech consequently it will make the native to be a liar because saturn is the planet by which one can earn their bread by telling lies while saturn resides in the 12th house it will aspect the second house from lagna by its third aspect 
when saturn is in the 8th house to the ascendant it will aspect the second house by its seventh aspect these are two worst cases where saturn will affect the second house because here saturn aspects the second house which is the house of speech when saturn is pabatva and aspecting the house of speech it will affect the character of the native in terms of speech definitely this native will tell lies the very fundamental quality of a criminal is not to speak the truth and tell lies when can a person cheat others by telling lies if only second house is affected severely this is possible not everybody can cheat others many people still exist who avoid eye contact when they tell a lie if a native does have conscience definitely he will avoid eye contact when is telling lies and others can easily identify it it is a human tendency to avoid eye contact when they are telling lies and this definitely applies to good souls so such native will tend to bend their head down when they are telling lies will it be a challenge for others to find this no it is not it is easy to find out only the worst criminal can have a better eye contact or tackle the situation easily when they are telling a lie therefore when there is a connection of saturn which is pabatva with the second house the native will definitely tell lies by which he will exploit others there are certain exceptions like when saturn is residing in the 5th house and aspecting the second house by 10th aspect in certain situations the native will tell lies because based on bhava subhatva the effect will vary though saturn is pabatva when it is residing in the 5th house it will have least pabatva whereas when saturn resides in the 8th house which is considered to be a durstana pabatva of saturn is increased and even when saturn resides in the 12th house pabatva of the saturn increases when saturn resides in 8th house or 12th house based on its sthana bala it will make the native to be a liar by which he exploits others while it aspects the second house to the ascendant once a person begins to start lying to others it will be the very first step to exploit others or to cheat others there are certain criminals who are merely involved in chain snatching or stealing the money from others for their livelihood imagine there are certain criminals who travel by bike and snatch the chain and escape the scene these guys are also criminals there are also people who are dressed very well and who give a lot of false hopes false promises and assure a lot of benefits whose motivation is only to cheat and this guy is also a criminal there are many sophisticated criminals who appear very elegant who seem to be like a great businessman yet they earn the money by cheating others i'm going to explain such a natal chart who is highly sophisticated who does white collar criminal activities in society what is the significant point that you have to note in the natal chart for identifying the white collar criminal activity when the natural benefic planet has pabatva connection with 6th house or 8th house or 12th house then the person will be a sophisticated criminal subhatva and pabatva and sukshma strengths or one of the most important concepts to make predictions well after identifying a person as criminal in order to know what sort of criminal he is these concepts are used 
when you apply the concept of subhatva pabhatva and sukshma strength then you can identify whether a person wants to stay as a sophisticated criminal that is a person who does not want to reveal his original identity to others or a person or a criminal who dare to face the public revealing his identity as a criminal there are certain people who did not mind about society at all and they dare to express themselves as criminals in the society so there are different nuances in criminalism i will tell you certain criteria for when a person will become a white collar criminal when the 6th house 8th house and 12th house has a malefic connection that is when 6th house 8th house 12th house is aspected by a malefic or when a malefic resides in these houses a person will be involved in white collar criminal activities there is another criteria where the 6th house 8th house 12th house lord will be malefic there are two different criteria indeed i will explain it in a more detailed way though the 6th house 8th house and 12th house lords were benefics when a malefic reside in these houses or aspects these houses these houses become pabatwa and the second situation is when the houses that is the 6th house 8th house and the 12th houses are owned by a malefic and in addition to this the malefic residing in these houses or aspecting these houses will make the house more pabatwa when benefic aspects or resides in the bhava it will strengthen the house it will make the house subhatva as per the strength of its own light energy i have explained this under the rules of subhatva pabhatva and sukshma strength concepts when the 6th house 8th house and 12th houses are completely pabhatva the native will not hesitate to do any criminal activity and he will be frequently visiting the prison and he will dare to reveal himself as a criminal this will be definitely delivered by satan because satan is nothing but a person who is a fraudulent one based on subhatva of satan you can decide whether the person cheats on others in a cheap manner or maintain some ethics based on subhatva of satan we can find whether the person cheats the victim directly or indirectly by hurting or without hurting satan itself is representing hypocrisy cheating etc this might hurt a few people there are certain poor people who never cheat others even though their profession is even begging on the contrary there are also many rich people who cheat others to even merely experience the adventure or thrilling experience there are different people with different colors and we also experience or come across these people being an astrologer i come across different people with different characters and with different aspirations i am explaining certain natal charts in order to explain you to grow your research mind recently i happened to see the natal chart of a person who was known at the national level for his fraudulence who wanted to check whether he will come out that is whether he will get parole while he was in prison even now he is in prison the person i point out is very well known for the criminal activity that he did recently and is currently in prison he is known nationwide as well his close dependents wanted to check whether he will get parole and how the case will be leading and what will happen to him in the future there are certain people who believe in astrology around him and uh, they approach the astrologer to know certain predictions about the convicted 
there are certain people or certain criminals who do the worst criminal activities as well definitely an astrologer will receive the natal charts of all the people who have different living standards and who have different professions good and bad best and worst when saturn is highly pabatwa and does not own an auspicious house as well in the natal chart and gets connected to the second house the native will definitely be a liar who will exploit others the very same saturn if it is highly subatwa and aspects the second house the person will take his profession as a lawyer the lawyer in order to prove justice and to save his client will tell lies there are certain lawyers who tell lies as part of their duty there are lawyers who can also tell lies to escape the criminals and there are lawyers who also tell lies to save the good people based on the subatwa and pabatwa of saturn you can find nuances that is you can find whether the person is working for the goodness of society or whether he is working to improve his own life financially in order to make the finest predictions you definitely have to know how to gauge the strength of subatwa now you can see a natal chart of a person he was born on 14th may 1981 he was born in madurai at 6:15 pm evening time He was born on 14 5 at 6:15 p.m. in the evening in Madurai. The native is Libra ascendant and Mars aspects the ascendant from Aries by its seventh aspect. The native is Libra ascendant and Ketu resides in the fourth house that is in Capricorn. In the seventh house in Aries Mars resides. in its own house the ascendant lord venus is in the 8th house to libra which is taurus there are three planets that reside in the 8th house to the ascendant that is libra such as sun mercury and venus which is the ascendant lord itself rahu resides in the 10th house which is cancer and in the 12th house there are three planets such as moon Jupiter and Saturn and the 12th house is Virgo this is the rashi chart of the native when he was born he underwent moon dasha from 1980 to 1990 since 2015 he started to experience the major planetary period of Jupiter and since 2020 to 2022 he was undergoing the minor planetary period of mercury under the major planetary period of jupiter you can definitely see that he was undergoing major planetary period of jupiter which is residing in the 12th house and he was undergoing minor planetary period of mercury which is in 8th house Now this introduces the connection between 12th house and 8th house. You can also see the Navamsha chart of this native. In Navamsha the native is Gemini ascendant and Mercury resides in the ascendant house itself. Mars and Rahu reside in the 5th house which is Libra. Sun resides in the 8th house which is Capricorn. and in the 10th house that is in pisces venus jupiter and saturn reside and in 11th house that is in aries moon and ketu reside this is the status of navamsha well now let me give a brief introduction about the native this native since his childhood had the tendency to cheat others interested in such activities What is the reason for this tendency? Because the ascendant house is aspected by Mars. Mars has got no subatwa 
and the malefic is aspecting the ascendant house and saturn is in conjunction with moon here the ascendant is aspected by mars and rashi is affected by saturn in traditional astrology if both ascendant and rashi have a connection with malefic its impact is more here in this natal chart the ascendant house is aspected by mars which has got very good strength the ascendant point and the degree of the mars have only 7 degrees of difference in a similar fashion the rashi that is moon is in very close conjunction with saturn which has only 2 degrees of difference from the moon's degree the manokaraka moon is in conjunction with saturn just in 2 degrees of difference and while he was born the major planetary period of moon was running moon which was in connection with saturn is highly pabatwa the next dasha that he underwent was the major planetary period of mars and the star lord of both moon and mars is also not an auspicious one i will not give importance to the star lord for the major planetary period of rahu he underwent a total of 17 years of major planetary period of moon and mars combined together since both moon and mars are not subhatwa by the connection of any natural benefic the childhood of this native was not good after 17 years he started experiencing the major planetary period of rahu which is in 10th house rahu has no subhatwa until 35 years of age and he was undergoing the major planetary period of rahu from 17 to 35 years of age and rahu has also got the aspect of mars and it is more subhatwa as well mars from aries house aspects rahu by its fourth aspect and since 2015 he underwent the major planetary period of jupiter whose major planetary period the libra ascendant should never undergo and moreover in the natal chart jupiter resides in the 12th house and aspects its own house which is the 6th house to the ascendant and strengthens it he has been undergoing the major planetary period of jupiter since 2015 from 2020 to 2022 he was undergoing minor planetary period of mercury in the major planetary period of jupiter you see how the connection of 6th house 8th house and 12th house is established the dasha lord who is the 6th house lord that is jupiter is residing in the 12th house and 12th house lord mercury is in the 8th house whose antardasha the native was experiencing from 2020 to 2022 the dasha lord is in the 12th house who is the house lord of the 6th house the antardasha lord is in the 8th house which is the house lord of the 12th house do you see the 6th 8th and 12th house connections if you check this 6th 8th and 12th house connection in a natal chart you can identify how the native is the 6 8 and 12 or magic numbers and when this has got some connection in the natal chart the situation is not good you have to make further predictions based on the strength of the planets that will decide the intensity or the impact of major planetary period and minor planetary period since birth this natal has had more inclination towards criminal activities of course the tendency is still there he is still involved in criminal activities unknowingly since his birth his inclination to do crime is not good why what is the reason 
because saturn is in conjunction with the moon which is dead enemy to it and in addition to this saturn also aspects the second house by its third aspect if you observe the natal charts of the criminals you will definitely find that connection of parbatwa saturn with the second house though the moon is waxing it is affected by conjunction of saturn in navamsha also moon is in conjunction with the shadowy planet which is considered to be parbatwa the subatwa of the planet will definitely get the native to earn bread make his life very much luxurious even the native can travel by suv since 2015 that is since the beginning of the major planetary period of jupiter what does this native do he is involved in different criminal activities such as cheating related to iridium rice pooling faking to sell the idols of navapashana or cheating related to ruby stone of king cobra or selling of old world sand boa the snake which cost crores of money selling of iridium which is considered to be more precious than gold and silver and trying to sell it for 30 crores of money and there is a big team working in these fields these people live a very sophisticated life and they also talk about the money transaction only in crores but in reality they might not even have money to travel by bus these cheating people can easily identify their targets that is the people whom they can cheat they will take advantage of the greediness of the people who want to earn quick money or who want to become the richest they will persuade the people like they have got a treasure pot of gold and precious stones and it cost crores of money they will say they got a treasure pot of golden coins which dates back thousand years they will cook a story like they got a treasure a pot of many golden coins which is like thousand or 2000 years old and they got it when they were digging a pit in their house and they are ready to sell it if they are receiving just 10 or 30 crores of money they will say that they will be ready to hand over the entire pot of gold and precious stones they will be cheating in these ways and there are certain cheaters who make pie in the sky who make empty promises who will falsely assure the people to get some loans they will give empty promises like they have the ability to get others a loan of 50 crores of money as a loan amount and their commission will be 1 crore they will expect the commission in advance and that is how they cheat others this native is also involved in such a criminal activity since his birth he had these tendencies and he is involved in a lot of criminal activities and in addition to all these the dasha that their native of libra ascendant should never undergo which is jupiter dasha that this native is undergoing because jupiter though it is a natural benefic it is the 6th house lord for the native of libra ascendant in this natal chart you can very well see the ascendant lord itself is in the 8th house to the ascendant i have many times mentioned that for venus the 3rd and the 8th houses or the houses where it loses its light energy completely in this natal chart almost six planets or an eighth and 12th houses to the ascendant the lagna is parbatwa by the aspect of mars which aspects from aries the rashi is also parbatwa by the conjunction of saturn for the native of libra ascendant and taurus ascendant jupiter will definitely deliver the inauspicious house effects and it will deliver beneficial effects through its karaka 
Jupiter aspect and conjunction is a setback for native of Libra and Taurus ascendant. In order to identify whether this Jupiter will deliver benefit or not, by its aspect or by presence, you have to identify in which house it resides. For the native of Libra and Taurus ascendant, Jupiter is the house lord of an inauspicious house. For the native of Taurus ascendant, Jupiter is the lord of the 8th house and for the native of Libra ascendant, Jupiter is the lord of the 6th house. Jupiter will deliver bad effects through its house and definitely deliver benefits through its karaka. The very same Jupiter is delivering money to this native because the significator of money is Jupiter. So it does deliver benefits through its karaka, that is graha significance. How to predict the effects of Jupiter for the native of Libra and Taurus ascendant? The conjunction of Jupiter and aspect of Jupiter will deliver bad effects of the inauspicious house and it will deliver benefits through its graha significance. Jupiter is the natural significator of money and children, that is progeny. What will Jupiter deliver for the native of Taurus being lord of 8th house? Jupiter will deliver money to the native of Taurus ascendant by traveling abroad or a distant place or by cheating in the share market. So Jupiter will deliver benefits that is in dishonest ways to the native of Taurus and Libra ascendant. What is happening right now with this natal chart? Since 2015, that is since the commencement of major planetary period of Jupiter, the native is involved in criminal activities full time. He is involved in white collar crime, that is whatever fields and professions that I listed recently such as selling of iridium or selling of semi-precious stones or gold that was set to cost 50 crores or 100 crores etc. The target of these people are those who are very much craving to earn quick money. There are certain people who want to become the richest in a quick time without really working hard. Such people are the targets for these white collar criminals. If a person is threatening another with a weapon such as bill hook or any other way stealing money from them, that quality will be delivered by Saturn and Mars. It will definitely be done by Pabatwa Mars and Saturn. And how a native will earn in a very decent manner by cheating others? The Pabatwa of the benefits such as Jupiter and Venus will definitely render it. This is a very basic concept that you have to understand in order to identify how a person cheats on others. Having said this, in this natal chart, the Ascendant Lord is in the 8th house to the Ascendant house and the Ascendant has become Pabatwa by the aspect of Mars which has got good strength and Rashi is also affected by conjunction of Saturn. In this natal chart, Jupiter resides in Uttiram Nakshatra, that is Uttara Falguni, whose star lord is Sun. The star lord Sun is in the 8th house to the ascendant. The native of Libra ascendant should never undergo the major planetary period of Jupiter, which has got 6th house connection. In which situation the major planetary period of Jupiter will deliver benefits to the native of Libra ascendant? Then the lord of the 6th house that is Pisces, Jupiter, should be in the 6th house or the 8th house to Pisces. Then it will deliver benefits to the native of Libra ascendant or even it can be in the 12th house to the Pisces which is 5th house to the ascendant. If it is in the 6th house to Pisces, then it will be in the 11th house, which is Leo. If Jupiter is in the 8th house to the Ascendant, then it will be in the Ascendant house, 
with digbala that is directional strength even in this case jupiter should not be pabatva there is a certain level of pabatva when jupiter is in connection with mars but it is considered to be an okay sort of pabatva in case jupiter is in connection with saturn either aspect or conjunction with saturn jupiter attains very bad pabatva jupiter will definitely become more pabatva when it has a connection with saturn or even waning moon if jupiter is in conjunction with rahu jupiter will lose all its light energy and it will be totally like a servant to rahu it will tend to deliver its effects based on how rahu behaves since the native does not find any other choices to earn his bread he is completely drowned in this field and involved in these sort of criminal activities since the commencement of major planetary period of jupiter that is 2015 he totally got his name spoiled and he is not afraid of the law system and he does not think about the consequences that he will face in the future he is not bothered at all whatever punishment he receives i have given an overview of this natal chart and i have also given the date of birth and exact time and even the place you can learn more by getting into the degrees of the planets and you can very well explore more like where the other planets reside and in which stars each planet resides here the ascendant point resides in vaisakha that is visagam whose star lord is jupiter who is the sixth house lord if i share with you whatever i explored personally then this video will extend for a day and there is no end to this video so i suggest you have to explore this further from the natal chart jupiter is the star lord of the lagna point and that is the lagna point resides in the vaisakha nakshatra though the sixth house lord is a natural benefic it has become pabatva by the conjunction of saturn here jupiter should not be in conjunction with saturn where does jupiter reside that is more important it resides in the 12th house and jupiter further aspects the 8th house to the ascendant jupiter is the 6th house lord it resides in the 12th house it aspects the 6th house to the ascendant jupiter is the 6th house lord and it resides in the 12th house and it aspects the 8th house by its 9th aspect and therefore a 6 8 12 connection is introduced here in addition to this the ascendant is also aspected by mars and jupiter is also in conjunction with saturn that too in 12th house based on this connection we can definitely say that the native is living a very dishonest life the lagna point resides in visakha whose star lord is jupiter which is 6th house lord the moon resides in its own star hastam or hasta for the native of libra ascendant the functional malefics are sun moon jupiter and mars saturn venus and mercury are functional benefics the lagna point itself is on a star whose star lord is jupiter which is inauspicious for the lagna and the moon resides in its own star hasta sun also resides in its own star kartikeya that is kritika the functional malefics are residing in their own stars thus becoming very strong mercury resides in rohini nakshatra and venus resides in kritika nakshatra that is kartikeya they all reside in the stars that is the functional benefics reside in the stars whose star lords are sun and moon which are functional malefics for the ascendant mars is the only planet that resides in varani nakshatra whose star lord is venus and dasha of mars got over by 17 years of age 
and jupiter resides in uttiram nakshatra that is uttra falguni whose star lord is sun which is in the 8th house to the ascendant and moreover jupiter resides in the 12th house and the show of jupiter is running for the nadir the major planetary period of rahu does not have great importance to the star lord rahu will totally function based on the planet with which it is in conjunction house lord and the planet which aspects rahu the least importance is given to the star lord of the shadowy planet rahu or ketu apart from that it is not necessary to consider star lord of rahu or ketu the next major planetary period which is saturn also resides in uttiram that is uttira falguni whose star lord is sun and rahu ketu does not have huge role to play in this natal chart here the functional malefics for the native of libra ascendant or residing in 8th and 12th house which is not considered to be good at all and even moon resides in 12th house in my recent video i have mentioned that the luminous planets should never be in 6th or 8th or 12th house in a birds eye view you might think that the sun is highly subhatva but it is not so sun is in the 8th house to the ascendant i have even mentioned in few of my videos that when you see a planet residing in 6th house or 8th house or 12th house but being subhatva then you don't need to worry about its position subhatva will overwhelm these shortcomings on the contrary here in this video i say that the luminous planet should not reside in 8th house or 12th house or 6th house and i give importance to such a position you have to know based on which criteria a particular rule has to be applied when the luminous planet reside in 6th house or 8th house or 12th house it will deliver a different result and subhatva can subdue its impact that's it when there is no subhatva the natal himself will be of no use when there is subhatva then like in this natal chart it will give a white collar sophisticated criminal professionalism for the very same native if the planets were in quadrant or trine then it would have delivered a lot of benefits when there is subhatva in the quadrant or trine house then the effects will be different you should know the knack of applying a rule and you should know the knack of choosing the criteria where to apply a particular rule here in this natal chart you can see where there is a lot of impact related to star lord related to position of the planet in a particular house and related to aspect and related to position of the luminous planet as well the native lives in the society and he is a sophisticated criminal and there is an illusion that he lives a comfortable life in the society and he pretends so and the effect of the subhatva of the planet is limited to deliver this because he owns a vehicle he owns a car he pretends to live a very extravagant life he is able to earn for his family he had cheated four people and there are 40 people waiting in queue to get cheated by this person and he escaped from the punishment of the law by some means in the past he runs his life in such a way that he escapes from severe punishment from the law system and more importantly he loves such a lifestyle since the planets involved are natural benefits this is what you have to understand i really wanted you to understand the natal charts of the people who have different ways of income who have who live different lifestyles you will explore more details when you do some research more on this natal chart This is the reason I have given his birth details like date of birth time of birth and place as well. In my next video I am going to explain certain important concepts with more natal charts. Write your feedback to astro.writeus@gmail.com. 